Greetings from Father Rich here at uh, Christ the King Parish and welcome to my uh, chapel chat. This week I'd like to uh, talk about a few things. First of all, prayer. Just start off with prayer. Uh, I have the Holy Bible with me and the Psalms. And I would just encourage us, uh, I would really encourage us to, to read the Psalms. Priests read the Psalms every day as part of their Liturgy of the Hour. So I'm just asking us all to pray right now for our nation, you know, for our world during the pandemic. And also as we prepare for the elections, you know, we have to come to God and be inspired and, uh, and to ask God for direction and guidance to be wise in our selection. Huh? So uh, again, register to vote and, and pray. Also, I'm excited to announce that uh, Pope Francis just released a new uh, encyclical. An encyclical is a, a letter, a wide world letter that goes to all the bishops and all the faithful. Uh, and it's a very important document. Uh, Fratelli Tutte is the title of this uh, document. It's in Italian, not in Latin this time. And it means uh, brothers all. It comes from uh, uh, St. Francis of Assisi's instruction to his, uh, his community, to his people in the 13th century. Imagine, you know, um, the 13th century. He, uh, he went to Assisi uh, to, uh, to sign the document and to present it uh, on, the, on the feast, on the weekend of the Feast of St. Francis. And uh, so I'd encourage you to go to the Vatican website. It should be listed at the bottom of this video. Go to the Vatican website and you can click on uh, encyclicals and it'll be the first one uh, of, uh, of uh, Pope Francis encyclical. It's the last one that he just wrote. And it, it, it talks about some important things about how we're gonna have to deal with uh, our world uh, in post uh, COVID-19. He uh, acknowledges the difficulties of COVID-19, but also in his encyclical, he addresses uh, yeah, social uh, fratern uh, fraternity, in other words, uh, our social friendship, uh, our need for, for caring for one another, and uh, talks about immigration. He talks about also, um, you know, the, the gap between the rich and the poor, uh, economic and social injustice. Uh, he talks about health care inequality and imbalance, and also uh, worldwide how there's a political polarization in many countries. So all these subjects are, are, are very crucial to our day. So I would encourage us to read the document uh, and to pray about it and uh, ask God for direction and guidance. Last thing is I'd like to uh, just let you know that as a parish community, we'll be moving forward with a stewardship initiative in the next few weeks. And so uh, to stay tuned. And what is that? This past weekend I spoke about stewardship, how we are to be stewards of our environment, stewards of justice, and also to be uh, stewards uh, for one another, caring for one another, stewards for life, life, uh, the sanctity of human life from the moment of conception to natural death. And I uh, actually quoted three of our popes. And uh, so to really think about how do we, how do we um, use the gifts that God has given us, in particularly as individuals, our time, our talent and our treasure. And I'll speak more about this next week, but uh, to start praying, how do we use our time, our talent and our treasure? And so let us pray for one another and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit.